So, uh, welcome back to part two. It's, uh, it's been a rough day. Now, if I did my job there, I should have interspliced the two clips of me getting fucked over by a liquor. Also known as the first liquor in the station. Bravo, me. Bravo. I also apologize if the audio is kind of weird. It shouldn't be, hypothetically. But, um... Mike's been a little weird. You can do it, lads. What the hell was that thing? Oh, jeez. Can't imagine what enemy that could be in a Resident Evil game. <gasps> it's Brad! Did you see it? It's Brad! It's Brad Chicken Heart Vickers. Alright, so I discovered this at least. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's about right. Now, I've been lucky. The two times I died horrifically, I managed to pop this guy. Yep. Fuck. Beautiful. Okay, neat. He's finally here performing for you. If you know the words, you can join in too. Now what happened earlier was he kept running... Yeah, he did that. Gotcha, fucker. Huh? How do you feel about that? Right. Now Chungus is going to show up. So yeah, I got mauled by a zombie on my first attempt. One that got up in the next area. Wow, he's uh, he's moving fast, all right. Oh, the fake out. I've made the joke before in a previous um, remake three video, but it's that shit they spruced for the Ascension map pack in uh, Black Ops One. Zombies will, if you aim at them, they'll commando roll out the way because they were Spetsnaz or whatever the fuck. You know, something that was meant to make us feel super, super impressed. Cap. Got it. The Tamil lock. Alright. Let's start, let's start this off right. Now. Yep, that's about right. Okay, we're going for the uh, fun version of this. Now, big boy out here should not get up. So we're going to do this. I think. Assuming they can find the door. Please? Okay, here we go. Fuck it. There he is. You, uh, you coming through? He's trying. He clipped. Come on. Man, come on. Oh, there we go. Finally, bloody hell, eh? Alright. So, I, appear, I have appeared to have found a little bug in their programming. Okay, that was a waste of a bullet. Yep, okay, cool. So, like Brad, for some reason, when you get here, they seemingly lose interest. Seemingly. I don't know if that's a guarantee. Okay. She's not... She's alive. That door wouldn't be open if she wasn't. Got him. He's probably going to get up. Oh, come on. This was way better the first time. Oh. Didn't involve all this bloody pussy footing around. One at a time, take a number. Okay. Now who's gonna jump me? Okay, it's not opening, so that means one is one of them's right fucking there. Or not? Huh. Okay. 
Yeah, there they are. We are gonna make an about face and run this way. Come on. Oh man, this is so much easier on the attempt where I died. Not to these guys. Well, it was to these guys, but it was after the fact. I should have saved. I wouldn't have to be doing this, but then again, I wouldn't have got that awesome fo footage of dying of a liquor. What the fuck? Son of a bitch. Truly a Joseph Joestar moment, man. Yep. Really? You're up, huh? I fucking see you. Okay. Can maybe we progress? Please? Alright, I've just got to run. Okay, cool. None of them are getting up. Yeah, he is though. We're just going to knife this guy real quick. I've got time to dispatch him if he gets up. Perfect. As is cop down there. Yep, perfect. Yeah, I am not a master of the shoulder tackle with Carlos. I need more time to get good. As the souls people would say. Yep. Neat. Alright, we have that one cop around the corner. Let's just check. Yeah, caution. Great. So, if he does grab me, I'm dead. I've got to redo this. So, fingers crossed that will not happen. Because, I believe, if we do this... Yeah, there we go. Gotcha. Now, he will get back up, so we're going to knife the shit out of him. Gotcha. Radio. Now there's no zombie in here, thankfully. Yeah, so what happened much, much earlier um, was I forgot the ammo in there. So that was uh, that was well done, me. What a pro gamer move, as the kids say, I believe. Whoops, hit the controller there. Perfect. Right. Oh, a report. Yeah, um, guy going nuts. Something about corpses attacking from the shadow. Huh, what a nerd, am I right? Alright, so we're gonna combine to this. Yep, yeah, and we're good. Alright. Felt, felt the controller shake. Made me think a zombie got in here, but evidently not. If there's no one here. Alright, so let's see. Let's reload. Nine... 15 7 Still bewilders me that people get that mucked up with this The whole concept of the fact they put in two ways to do the saves I know it's kind of counterintuitive, but My initial instinct was to just go um, You know to count 9 then count 15 then count 7 not go from 9 to 15 to 7 Which is weird because a lot of people did the total opposite of that. Yeah, it kind of is, Carlos. You make a you make a fair point. Now I'm repeating myself from much earlier. You know the shit you guys never saw, but I swore when I came in here on nightmare the first time, it was going to be a fucking zombie. But alas, nothing. If cameras kill those things, I'd be set. Damn straight. Yeah. Okay. So we got everything bar the combo. We're going to save. I am not going to be making the same mistake. We'll save over this one. Yeah, so I cut it out of the um, the first part because it wasn't particularly interesting. It's when I was dying to Nemesis a ton because I was an idiot and refused to use those two grenades at the perfect time. Um, what ended up happening was I stated, um, well, that I'd played Nightmare to a degree. I've only, but I've only gone as far as the final corridor of the RPD. I was clever and I was seeing if I could, oh yeah, don't open the locker. Yeah, pen no, indeed. No. Alright, I was a genius and I wanted to see, uh, this is the cap one, right? Yeah, yeah, I wanted to see 
if I could get that one item at the very end of the corridor, which is assault rifle ammo. And when you see that corridor, you'll understand why it's not fucking worth it. Because I would like to reiterate, it is not fucking worth it. Shower room. So we need something important here. The el electronic gadget. That's what it should do. Should move you here. Move that there. Because we'll be that's the puzzle explore. item we require. Alright. That said, my memory of this part is fuzzy enough that I could get fucked up. That said, I know. <laughs> that said, that said. I know this guy's fucking alive. So we're gonna fucking knife him. It is kind of cool that a lot of the bodies that hop up on Nightmare are the ones that didn't do a thing in, um. Well, you know, on normal or hardcore. Standard and hardcore. Yeah? That's what I thought. Yeah, that said, a caution. If a zombie bites me, I'm dead. So we gotta keep that in mind. This guy will get up. He didn't move in, um, hardcore or normal. Which is kind of the point I was making. Yay, shit. Perfect. Well, his, his leg's fucking gone, so I'm going to assume that means he's in for a rough time. S still, he could be part of a three-legged race. Ha ha ha. Ah, yeah. That was in bad taste, perhaps. Alright. DCM. Yeah, for this part, I'm not really going to be doing what I was doing in the first part, where I was kind of like, ah, uh, here's some ways you could fix Nemesis, because, well, Nemesis doesn't show up here. And honestly, as far you know, other than the whole, ah, uh, Jill probably should have gone to the RPD, that would have been more interesting. You know, like the original. I don't mind this section, it's actually pretty well done. I'm totally cool with it. I should probably... Let's have a look, one second. If we go here... Okay, it just auto saved, so perfect. I have nothing to fear. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna brazenly walk past these two fuckers. Or worst comes to us, we're gonna pit this. In fact, we're gonna just chuck it. We are gonna attempt to get through the door. Hopefully we do not get slashed, otherwise that would be awful. Okay, I think it's 04 and 06. I can't really hear, but I think the liquors are still going nuts outside, or at least the music is. Because I don't think the door had time to close properly. Hard to tell. Regardless. This dickhead's going to get up, so we're just going to spend some time knifing. Yep. He will get up again, so we're gonna... What do you want now? Yep, cool. He's the only one. So, depending on how bad this gets... Okay, we're gonna do that, that, combine, and we're gonna put you here. We're gonna totally use that, depending on how bad it gets. You are for the shower. Oh, that's right. It's gonna happen, isn't it? This is, this is cool. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Here he is, the man of the hour, performing for you. If you know the words, you can't shoot through the door. Come on, chicken heart. That is not what I wanted. Gotcha. Sorry, Brad. Right here, let's just give him the old knife, just in case. You're probably circumvent him, but given how the lickers are incredibly pissed off out here... Let's have a look. Where are they? Saw that fire hydrant and got very nervous. Now one will be here. So we're probably going to try to shoulder tackle him. Depending... See you later, fucker. I feel like that guy fell and I just didn't notice him. That's supposed to happen then. This this is when he'd get up, I'm pretty sure. Or at least he'd try to corner us up there. 
Right, have we grabbed everything? The answer is yes. Um, let's just make sure we have grabbed everything. Bravo. Carlos, I've hit a dead end with the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Yep. Copy that. Hey Tyrell, uh, how are you gonna get past the uh, steam? Watch out for that goddamn steam pipe. Yeah, now we'll skip it. All right. Are you ready, kids? I can't hear you. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. <laughs> Bravo, me. Yeah, the second I backed into the steam vent, I knew I was fucked. Let's hope I... Oh, okay, cool. That should just be... Okay, that should be here, basically. Perfect. Bravo. Powerful cross punch. What's that? A cross counter? A phrase I forget the meaning of because I'm not good at fighting games. Bravo, me. Yep, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We are not going to die a terrible, terrible death. Yeah, okay, Tyrell. Sorry, man, but... We are going to blow a hole through this wall. It is kind of disappointing this wasn't actually Nemesis, but, yeah, what you going to do? Gotcha. Now, if we just stand a ground here, no one else should get up. Now, we'll just have a look. Because if we throw a nade, we can get a bunch of them just around that corner. So, let's equip it. Because there's you and you. And if we're lucky, we can get a guy around the corner, too. Now, there's one more at least. Yeah, no, he's not alive. Yeah. Yeah, so power heads. In my RPD? Yeah, for some reason, I don't fucking know. One at a time, the hell if I know. This really is the highlight. Except for safe. Bitch is mad because he ain't got no scales. Okay, we're healing. You'll see why. So this corridor fucking sucks. Sucks for several reasons. Whoo! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy that went so bloody well. Oh, that could have been fucking awful. Thanks for the first aid spray, though. Rad. Alright, let's not touch the door for reasons. Okay, this is really good for later on. Okay, let's do it like this. This is a lot of healing, though. But that's because Carlos is going to end up in a hospital quite soon. I have a task to perform very soon. You're my old friend. Yeah, so there's um, machine gun ammo right there. 20 rounds. Yeah, you know, like, it's only a liquor and four pale heads. Like, uh, I don't know. I, I was a bit of a coward not bothering, wasn't I? It really is a shame I wasn't a man enough to go for those 20 bullets. Oh, well. Yeah, so this is the note about the mansion incident. Is that Jill in the front row? There's the Jilt Sandwich. And we got Wesker there. And we have Barry. And Brad. And Chris. But not Chris's blood. Of course not. Right, so thankfully we don't even get a chance to attempt to fight these fuckers. Yeah, what's up? Because something happened. Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? What? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. Just leaving that one in for continuity's sake. Because I'm showing the Jill cutscene. Because it, it's when it happens. You know, it 
the uh, I was gonna say the game jumps the, jumps the shark, but more like Nemesis jumps the shark while becoming well not a shark, but you get the analogy. Also, yeah, we're in the pre-order costume that I got in spite of all the bullshit that happened when I tried to buy this game. For those uninitiated, and I don't blame you, um, in the very first part I ever put up Avari 3, back in the day the, ca the game came out, I mentioned that I had a pre-order from the local JB Hi-Fi, and due to COVID reasons, um, I, I wasn't going to get it the day it came out, so I ended up buying a second copy. Now some of you might be thinking, you bought two copies of this? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> I own two copies of Remake 2. <laughs> Want to fight about it? Sorry, wait, Remake 3? What am I saying? What the hell? Alright. Let's see, we have Explosive Rounds, which is what I want, ideally. Now keep in mind, we are not going to be getting... We'll grab that. We are not going to be getting anything... Any more chances to stock up before the boss fight. Now, this should be plenty. This is four he full heals. Um, am I on caution right now? I'm fine. Perfect. I'm saving you for pale heads in the lab. Let's just reorganize. I still have... So, right now, I have seven full heals. I have four spe spare green herbs. I'm not using the coins because those are for cowards. And I can make ammo, if, grenade launch ammo if I have to. Alright, I'm thinking this is pretty geared up. Shouldn't be a problem. Actually, when did it save? It'll save past this corridor, so unless I die a horrible, horrible death, I should be fine. That said, I'm excited to see if this corridor changes at all. It changes. Oh, beautiful. Yeah? Wow, I'm just missing all my shots now. Come on. I'd whistle, but I'll probably fuck with the mic. Come on, boy. That probably fucked with it. I apologize. Fuck. That this uh this was a smart decision to do. I've forgotten my dodging. Oh, after all this. Well, I've not my proudest moment. You know what? Fuck that. Yes, I am a huge coward. Fight me. Wait. I'm a huge coward. Fight me. Yeah, it makes sense. Hey, look, it's the clock tower. If I was recording a face cam, but why the fuck would I do that? I bet it helps get viewership. Um, you'd see me you know, turning to the proverbial viewer and looking knowingly when I said, hey look, it's the clock tower. That's something they could have fixed. That's it. It's weird, because like, the clock tower's iconic, but at the same time, I've seen so many bloody comments saying, oh, look, the clock tower kind of sucked. It was busy work. So it's weird seeing like, such a drastic difference of opinion. Because some people fucking love it. Some people just, you know aren't too hot on it. It's quite interesting in that regard. Not really, but it is. I don't believe we need the lockpick. So you know, it's a good thing I restarted. Um, this should be good. We'll grab you. I, I don't know why I like keeping the, f the first aid sprays instead, but I will take you though. You are quite useful. You can stun a uh, stun nemesis, so. All right. Will I save again? Will he learn his mistake? Haha, <laughs> no fucking way. No way, bro. Alright. Yep, beautiful. I wanted to see if we could, um... Okay, so most of the buckshot him, hit him, so he's dead. Our compadre over here, though. I appear to be stuck. I appear to be dead.
Alright, fuck it. That's a shame, I have to waste shoddy. Come on. Beautiful. Now, I'd like to check them, however. Okay, cool. Someone's getting up, so we gotta... Okay, no, someone's not getting up, they're just kinda eating. Now, I remember how this went, originally. Yes, it was somewhat like that. Now, you guys are dead, so you shouldn't get up. Alright, let's just give it a sec. Let's see if we can... Bingo. Now, let's just quickly knife them before our compadre comes. Yep. How about some more? Okay. Now again, remember, I haven't played past that last room in the RPD, so this is all different to me. Now there'll be a bunch of those dickheads on the stairs. No one got up? Perfect. Well, they shouldn't. Perfect. Now I remember this room. Yeah, fuck this. And there is nothing like the first time. What the fuck was that? The hell was that? Still alive. I can't stay here. Wait, do I want to go down? I don't think I want to, on the off chance that was a fucking parasite dickhead. That's it, I've always wanted to go back and just have a look to see what will happen. It'll be interesting to see if there's any enemies here. I highly doubt it. But it'd be something. Yeah, the beloved clock tower fell into disrepair, but it's been fixed! Hooray! It's been fixed, guys! Definitely gives me vibes of uh, something in the past. Oh yeah, there's this cool place that's going to be built called the Battle Frontier. Yeah, it'll be really awesome when it's built. Shame it's not built yet. Maybe come back when it's built. <sighs> I fucking like Oras a lot. Like pretty good remakes. Hell, the just getting to hear the Archie and Maxi themes again. Are, you know, fucking amazing. But man. Again, there's just, similar to this game, there's just some things of like, you guys could have done a little more, in terms of certain areas, you could have put in some more effort perhaps. Alright, we're going flame first because this will stun them. Now it'd be cool if we could see, like, in terms of the rest of the area, how this links in. Because unfortunately, yeah, we can't go back ever. I'm just saying this for the people that don't know. Yeah, it's a shame. That water looks nicer than that water, I don't know why. Maybe it's just the lighting. I'm just trying to see if there's anything in the skyline I've missed. Uh, you know, other than, you know, the church. Oh, sorry, the uh, clock tower. Oh, save a line, Jill. Bitch can't swim. <laughs> oh, I fucking love it. Beautiful. Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The but you see, the line doesn't work because Jill isn't paying attention. Because Nemesis could be alive in the water. I'm paraphrasing, but that's a post I just fucking read. Nikolai left us. It's not. It's not actually that clever and funny and witty. He. She should have been looking to see if he would jump and morph into. You know, Nemesis of the Fishing Hamlet, which was the joke from the original. That always looks fucking weird, how he just kind of clunks into place. Well, snaps into place, I suppose, would be a better term. It is, like, Doc Nem could have been interesting, a little more so than he truly is. I mean, I don't know how having him stalk us would have worked, but fuck, that would have been creepy. Having this thing tailing you throughout the, um, throughout the nest, you know, if it was still the dead factory, would have been fucking terrifying. Alright, let's do this. 
I haven't done this for a while, so my timing's a bit off. So the way it works is, Namel gets stunned when he gets hit by fire. For that initial burst. Hey, the camera's doing that thing. You know that thing? The thing everyone loves about this fight. And about phase two. Yeah, come on, come on, show off your monster on the move set. I've heard. I've heard you just a reskin of some monster that I've never fought because I've played fuck all Monster Hunter in my life. Yeah, I'm doing that dodge too early, but I'd just rather get out of the way than get the cool shot, to be honest. Damn it, I thought I might have actually got it that time. Yeah, the camera is being very RE6, I've seen people describe it as. Okay, we're already on phase two, apparently. That was quick. Alright, come on DSP. Time to show us. Wow, that was hard to figure out. Sure would be amazing if it was incredibly hard to figure out this beast. Oh wow, he, uh, he doesn't give you as much time, that's for sure. Yeah, it'd be uh, crazy to... Whoa! Damn it. He's doing it already, huh? Okay, we're gonna nail him over there. Again. We're gonna swap to this. Ow! <laughs> Outstanding. Outstanding, men. Outstanding, men. Yeah? But hurt did it? Yeah? I remember if it was Matt or Pat that made the comment about Nemesis getting hit by acid and just being like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I remember the Eliminator com comment about how this is one of my top 10 least favorite facial cleansers. Oh, fucking Eliminators are amazing. They're the best. They're the best because of how terrible they are. I wonder if I upset any RE veterans by saying Eliminators kind of, you know. Aesthetically, they don't have a lot going on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! Oh, I didn't actually see that coming. I was a little, uh... I was a little busy. Thinking I was clever. You're so fucking special. Hey, hey Nem. You want that special? I'm kind of stealing from the Richard Cheese variation, to be honest. Man, Richard Cheese is awesome. I mean, the, uh, musician. <laughs> not, not what he stole... What, well, stole. Not what he got the name from. Okay, um... He is up in our grill. Okay, I think we've almost got him. Caught a hunch. Okay, we got to be getting close. Okay, let's have a look to see if we can find more mine ammo. Because he's going to be busy running for a bit. There he is. Um, we did not pick up any, but we have this. Awesome. Jawsome, in fact. There we go. Handgun. Perfect. I'm just going to focus on reloading while he has his little fucking tantrum. I just got to keep an eye on where he's going to be landing. And But I'm not too close to it. Whoa. No, fuck you. <laughs> hey, Jill, here I... Oh, fuck. That's it. I could have just shot him with a grenade round. That would have been way funnier. Yeah? 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 What else? Yeah, what you got? What you got? Yeah? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, perfect. Well, that looks really cool. Well, that doesn't canonically work, because you didn't have any uh, grenade rounds left. You only had flame? You know, you know, like how, um, Barry, or someone, I don't know why I went with Barry, what is it, um, is it, uh, is it Rev 2? I know the RPG is what does in, um, you know, the she-wesker, <laughs> to put it that way, um, but yeah, isn't it like Barry canonically shoots a magnum a few extra times at the end of the fight? Yeah, I wonder if RE fans always froth over that shit. 
I think it's more ruler cool matters more, to be honest. Okay, what are we missing? I don't want to get too close to, uh, to trigger Nemesis. Okay, that's a lot of fucking shotgun, holy shit. That is a lot of shotgun I have for the lab. Fuck yeah. Holy shit, Resident Evil. Why are you being so generous? It's not like, uh... Not like you're gonna be brutal or anything. In the lab section. <laughs> oh. Well, fuck. I'm not gonna have enough room to carry all this, I think. Okay, no, no, there we go. This should be it, I hope. Mine rounds. Perfect. That'll be awesome for... Holy shit, I have ten of these bad boys. Alright, flame it is. Okay. It is a shame. Um, this turned out the way it did. Could have been just like a few rooms. But like I said in the last part, all you really have to do instead... All they had to do instead was just make it so... We fought Rocket Launcher Nemesis here. And he gets fucked up and turns into this in the lab. And sure, it'd be like, oh, well, you get, how do you deal with this fucking Manus Wombo combo for the first time? Well, he loses the arm mid-fight. That could be it. Carlos interferes and fucking owns him. And then he loses the arm. That's when I should have used my upgrade. Oh, well. So, I hope you enjoyed playing as... Well, sorry. I hope you enjoyed me playing as Jill for all of, like, what, 15 minutes? Because, uh... Nah. I am ashamed I didn't realize that was the RE4 sound effect. And again, as I've described, as I've explained previously, surprisingly, I don't think it was in a Resident Evil LP. It might have been Zelda or Demon's Souls. I never got far in RE4 because, fuck me, I was too careful walking around that village. Oh, it's him. That's fucking... Well, I'm saying that's not creepy. <laughs> oh, that framing is, uh... That's, that's special, that. Okay, we can't, uh, skip this. Okay. Carlos comes and saves us. I knew the Nikolai face was creepy, and that's what I was commenting on, but that shot of him looking at us through the... Well, looking at Jill through the gate. Whoa. Okay, and now Carlos is like, we're going to find a vaccine for Jill. <laughs> Combine the stars car with Jill's corpse. Uh, well, not corpse, you, you know what I mean. She's alive and well. Oh, I am looking forward to this. I am, uh... Oh boy. I am excited. Yeah, so we have nothing for Carlos other than, well, this stuff. Exciting. Alright. And gun first. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Gotta be back in the lab. In the lab. Man, I wonder if, like, they were gonna make it so we could go out here and the park was just that way. Again, it's, it's weird listening to people say, like, yeah, park was pretty cool. I liked it. Oh yeah, the park was awesome. It was really cool how the hunters could ambush you. And simultaneously hearing, ah, the park kind of sucked. <laughs> like, it's just so weird. And this isn't meant to be an excuse for, well guys, come on, they didn't have to remake the whole game. Even though, you know, that's kind of the point. <laughs> they probably should have. Um, yeah, it's, it's just sad, the shit that got cut. And by shit, I mean stuff. It wasn't shit. Alright, you know what, we'll swap into this. I'm probably going to regret this immediately. So, will there be the one guy... Aha! Hmm, no. Alright, if I die, it's fine. Fuck it. Now I'm going to be on danger immediately, so I have to heal on wake up. Bingo. 
Gotcha, fuck boy. You almost killed me, idiot. Okay, now this is a colossal waste colossal waste of ammo, but Okay. That said, I'll probably just get up. I think that's meant to be when the liquor triggers. Unless there's a guy behind me. Meanwhile, the scary door. Oh, that's right, the pamphlet. Spencer Memorial Hospital. Okay, well, they changed that up at least. Will zombie burst through the doors? Let's just uh, be cautious. Yeah, so now we're back to me definitely not knowing what's going to happen. So I'm excited. I'm very excited to see what will happen up ahead. Yeah, lockpick, of course. Um, I totally forgot that's what that was, even though I didn't and I knew what it was because I'm smart. Well done, me. Um, yeah, that's that. That's... That was the lightning hawk. Was. Okay, yeah. It's just a straight shot. No corpses. It'd be really effective if something uh, fell, flipped off out of that. Well, jumped out, I should say, rather. Radio. Yeah, so uh, for people that didn't watch the first playthrough, and again, I'm assuming that's a lot of people, which is cool. And by a lot of people, I mean that implies a lot of people are watching this. Oh. Dr. Byard. Okay, no zombie. Um, yeah, uh, hospital. I took my sweet time because, man, this place is kind of creepy. I was getting super paranoid about hunters, and I think they're going to pop up in the places I thought they were going to appear last time. Anyway... Enjoy the comedic stylings of Carlos. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? Open sesame. No voice match found. This is Nathaniel Bard. Open the door, please. No voice match found. Come on, let me in, you piece of shit. No voice match found. Hmm. Guess it has to be the voice of someone with clearance. No voice match right here. found. Don't you fucking test me. Hmm. Guess it has to be the voice right of someone with forward. Oh! No voice match. Green herb. Nice. Oh. That reflection made me think there was a fucking hunter there. Even though that makes no sense, because that's not a fucking window. Pills here. Alright. Okay. I bet they get up. We have run into a problem. The game is not good with, uh... Well, doorways. And letting zombies know I'm over here. That's it, most of them are going to get up, 100%. Okay. She got up later originally, so let's have a look. Yep, bingo. No, you don't. Now, at least one's going to bur burst out from a door. I don't mean the one that will burst out later. Alright, we're just... We're nipping this little problem in the bud. You broke out now, that'd scare the shit out of me, actually. Wait, yep, yep, there we go. Fucking knew it. Oh, really? That's all? Okay. So I know that lady is most likely going to flip out off this. Oh, really? There we fucking go. Oh, well, you fucking don't. Right, combine that shit. Wow. Six full heals, huh? Hmm. Looking forward to the next... Yeah, you know, ten minutes. That's not even the part that's going to be hard. Alright. So if there's this doorway, let's just have a look to make sure there's no zombies here that weren't here on normal. We can't get through there. 
Health Day, November 24th. A healthy family is a happy family. Yeah, um, I, I've briefly touched on it earlier, but it's kind of weird. Well, earlier, I mean in part one. Come on, do it. <gasps> Decapped. I never posted the glitch, but there was one instance where I got this body, where I came back and the body was fucking standing. Idle. It was really weird. Um, yeah. It was weird listening back to one Maximilian dude's, um, discussion of this game. and said he didn't really like the hospital. I think based on what he said, it kind of boiled down to he didn't like all the backtracking. But... This definitely feels like an RE area, and it's a fucking creepy-ass hospital. You are alive. I know you are, because you weren't alive the first time. Now, when I first played this, I didn't know if hunters were definitely in this area. I figured they had to be, given they were in the original, but I wasn't sure. So there was this moment where I heard the sound, or at least I thought I did, I thought like a hunter was running around on the roof. Thought it was going to be like Jurassic Park with the fucking Velociraptors. That said, if a hunter popped out right now, that'd be fucking terrifying. That'd scare the shit out of me. Alright, that said, we are uh, getting here. Yep, cool. Oh, yep, the map. Is that the thing I'm forgetting? No, there's still something in the corridor to grab. What a surprise. Safe room. Now, I know it's a safe room, but can never trust these fucking games. Journal. Cool. Item box. Really close to a typewriter, so if you're doing a no item box run, be fucking careful of this room. That said, it never caused me a concern, but fuck me, that's close. We have a lot of ammo. Well, actually, we don't have that much ammo. We have a lot of fucking heals. And I assume it'll remain as such. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's, um, let's put you here you here and we'll trade you now yeah, there we go beautiful i'm gonna make a quick cut right about now um one because it's um fucking australian heat a summer heat right now so i need some water and my cat is screaming outside my door i'm not sure if that picked up but you know always a staple of the channel the cats annoying me while recording anyway i'll see you back in a little bit Okay, finally back. Um, apologies if the audio sounds different now. Apparently, I'd knocked, I'd knocked the gain setting on the back of my mic, and that had kind of fucked things up. Now, the audio from before should be fine, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was a bit of a difference. Yeah, so we're going to go over as Jill? What the fuck was that? Oh fuck, that's what that was. Oh. <laughs> was wondering what was going nuts. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Whew. Wasn't not expecting a liquor or two. Alright. Assault. Bingo. Alright, well, um, I don't know if he'll despawn, but I'm getting the impression I'd like to take care of him now versus in, like, two minutes. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Why can't I s Where'd he go? Is he behind the... Yeah. Got it. Okay. Okay, apparently this counts. Okay. Poke your head up. You knew it, Licker Chan. Rise I loot. Reload, you scumbag. Okay. Come on. Someone is not happy. <laughs> not at all. I'm 
sorry I'm playing this incredibly lame, but I'd rather not die to a liquor immediately. What the fuck is going on? It's like stuck. The fuck is with liquors in this game? They get really bugged apparently. Okay, let's just walk out and let him reset. Still paranoid there's gonna be something ambushing me any second now. Okay, where the fuck is he? Alright, if he comes at us, we're just gonna blast him with this. Oh, I can't really hear him, that's the annoying part. Zombie's gonna burst through, no doubt. Gotcha, finally. Oh, I'm sorry that was so lame to watch. No zombies, huh? Wait. Okay, guess he gets up at a script time. Or he doesn't get up at all. Okay, yep. We'll do this thing. Sorry. Damn it. Didn't mean to do that. I remember, it's nine and three. So that's one of those weird instances, it would actually be easy to go 9 and then 6. The dual mag, neat. Very cool. Yep, nice. Well played sir, oh. Sir, sir. Hold on. Take a number, as Carlos has said before. Yeah, no you don't. Now let's assess the carnage. Yep, neat. Okay, there's bound to be at least one more in here. Yep, I remember you two. There is of course a green herb. Yep. I see, mademoiselle. Brilliant plan. Okay, there is some other stuff. Yep. You. There we go. So that guy never got up. Huh, interesting. Oh well, back to it. In before a licker ambushes me out here. I'm way more scared of the lickers than I am the hunters, to be honest, but that could change in the next ten. You never know. The radio. Yep. Right. I wish I had handgun for this. Now, if it was going to be a liquor, I imagine there'd be one in here. At least there's a chance of one. So I think all these corpses are going to do the thing they do in the normal, um, in the normal difficulties. Where, okay, well, no, he's alive. I was expecting him to not trigger for now, but from memory, one or two did, so doesn't surprise me all that much. In fact, I appreciate the fact I can take him out now. Oh wow, you're still up, man. Mate. Very cool. Okay, he's a one and done, thankfully. Okay, she's one that'll get up. That's for Jill, just so we can mark it on the map. Jeez, wonder what happened here. So there's at least three corpses that have the capacity to get up later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, you don't. Alright, so this will be the note. That'll be the door we can't get in. Yep, cool. 
I'm keeping the dual mags until it's time to reload. So I guess it's time to jump out into the courtyard. Oh well. Right, so we got this and the other one to jump through. So we'll do this first. So we can climb through. Please don't be a zombie waiting right here. That'd be very lame. Yeah, so that's the case we can't get to. Ah, oh, neat! Wow, we have a lot for Carlos, don't we? What the hell? That's really cool. We'll move out there, we'll have the upgrade there. We have so much fucking healing, man. So much bloody healing. Alright, we'll just do this. Yep, cool. Let's just make sure we can't miss anything. I'm excited to find out what's in there instead of a, instead of a lightning hawk. There to be something good, and if it's not, well... Yeah, I don't know. Can't really do much, can I? Okay. One step closer to getting into the office of Nathaniel Goddamn Bard. What a waste of a nursing degree. Oh, man. Bard is awesome with how shitty he is. What an absolute scumbag. Oh, neat. Thank you. Come we look. Alright. This is the part where I'm going to start really making myself nervous. Because I feel like something might have changed. At least decapitated so we can't get up. That's good. I know I killed him, but you can never be too safe. I expect a hunter is going to show up here for some reason. Simply because it's outdoors and it would make me paranoid as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh no, you don't, you fucker. Cool, we get to fight one immediately. Yep. Very good. We're on caution though, right? So we gotta watch out for that little poke of death. Maybe it's best to start saving. We're gonna get an auto save. So, you know what, can't be that bad. So we'll just walk on ahead. That's awesome though. I like how that how we actually fight that hunter. That's a nice fake out. That's really cool. I like that. Alright, now will you zombies suddenly rise for the national anthem? Don't rise for our national anthem. Doesn't exactly reflect the view the uh, views of multicultural society and value it doesn't value our indigenous people. Oh no, a YouTuber who plays video games got political. Whatever shall I do? Continue being political, I suppose. <laughs> How fucking tragic. Oh man. I have a lot of single green herds for Jill. Now I know this time he's actually alive. I've been trolled, apparently. Huh, I thought he was alive this time. Is he moving? Man, I'm like paranoid as fuck, apparently. Then where was the video I saw removed from? That's weird, which difficulty was that? Okay. They are not getting up. That's the thing for Jill. Alright, you know what? Yeah. I've got this just in case, but I'd rather save him for, you know, that room. Alright. This cutscene's so fucking cool. Let's fucking go battle toads. This is such a fucking good redesign. And they're fun as hell to fight too. Yep, that's exactly what I expected. I'm doing way worse than this one. Oh wait, didn't use it, what the hell? Bad me, well done. I love the way they go in and out like that. It's excellent for like little fake out and cut mechanics. 
Oh, it, someone said it reminds them almost of like Punch Out in a way. Like we, I think it was Matt during him and Liam's LP of us. The in out, in out, boxing kind of stance. We don't have a lot of ammo. This is the predicament. All right. Well, we're gonna get some in that one room, but this is gonna be very dicey as consequence. Courtyard. I missed something here, apparently. I missed something there. We'll head down. Because if it's bullets, I would love some. Yeah, I don't know why I'm so paranoid of fighting the hunter out here, but I just feel like they do that. What am I think? What am I missing down there? I fucking forget. I'll, if a hunter ambushed me here... Uh, yeah, ambushed me here later, I'd actually... I'd be really up for that. That'd be fucking rad. Is it here? What am I missing? I totally forget. It's here. It's in this room. It's not outside. Unless it's part of the courtyard? Oh wait, yes, yes. This qualifies as a courtyard. That's correct. So we do have this card, so we can go back. So let's see what awaits us here. Will they break through? Well, these guys should all be sorted. I doubt they'll get back up. At least they shouldn't. If anything, the corpses that weren't moving would get up. Now, I expect at least one zombie to be in here. I'm thoroughly disappointed. I am thoroughly disappointed. Okay, where's the herb I'm, I apparently rubbed my body against? There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to keep a bunch of single green herbs at this point. Thank you. Oh, that's very much appreciated. Okay. That is also appreciated. Nate. Okay, what do we got? A lot. And not many. Oh, well. It'll suffice. Now, let's just see. You guys are not going to trigger. Neat. Oh, I'm happy I went back for that. In fact, that, well, actually, no, I couldn't have done that because when I jump down, I get the key. I don't get the ID card. Yeah, I really, really like this section. I'm kind of bewildered Max didn't like it. I mean, if, if you're not into the super um, tedious backtracking, I can get it. But, well, probably feels like the most RE area in the game. Not from just, like, tone and setting, but for, like, the fact you have to constantly move around the place. That said, we're in a game where killing enemies isn't that bad. It's quite affordable in terms of the health and ammo economy. Okay. Now, it makes me wonder if anything's going to jump up. You're the only one that didn't get up. There's no one behind the desk. Unlike when we played the first time. It's you, who we murdered, so it's not a problem. Was this the last door? I think we can get rid of this. Let's we'll just turn around and look. Yes, we can. Perfect. Alright, this is the room, kids. Well, that's the room. Now, what we need is there from memory. Yeah, that's it right there. And there's some gunpowder over there. I think that's it. So if we... Oh, fuck. Powerhead, huh? Bitch. I'm a little paranoid about you getting up. Should probably just move ahead, to be honest. Okay. Was not expecting a pale head. How many nades we got? One. I'd rather save that for the room. Okay. There were two zombies here last time. Maybe that changes. Yeah, apparently that has. Well, let's loop back and see if a hunter has appeared outside. Probably not, because we haven't grabbed what we need. So instead, I'm going to be a coward. I'm going to loop back this way. Just to see if Palehead Chan has decided to wake up. Wake up to justice. As the mighty Sparta once did. Thinking about it, they could have had the park like right outside, actually. That would have been cool. I know there's like a fucking building right there, apparently, but still. Ah, still, it makes me wish... Okay, so if there were no zombies in there, apparently it's just you chuckle fucks. 
I'm impressed he's not getting up. I'm super confused he's not getting up, in fact. Yeah, so as you can plainly see, the commentary has definitely shifted more towards man, I don't know what the fuck to expect, as opposed to here's how we make the game better. Uh, game design advice from some Australian jackass. We have a lot of fucking health. Okay, that's the annoying thing. The room's not going to show clear until we uh, take care of this. Alright, here's the plan. Oh yeah, that's right, you do that. Okay. Now we do this. Gotcha. Now let's just make sure. I assume that's just ambience I could hear. I fucking love the way they jump around the room. You can definitely feel the platinum dev experience in the Hunters. Oh, he did it! Oh, you got me good, Hunter-chan! Well fucking played, man. Well played. Good footsies. Alright, so let's see if this goes better. Because if they're together... Uh-oh. That one might not have killed him. That did it. Right. Nate. For a second I thought the fucking pale head was up. No, he's content just chilling. Okay, so there's nothing over here this time. It's all over here. What? Oh. There was a corpse that the hunters were playing with. No respect for the dead during a zombie apocalypse. Right, that went way fucking better. So, because of how this shit works, and the fact Jill is going to have to deal with hunters um, if I don't kill them, I'm going to take this one out. Assuming he still crops up. Alright, come on, buddy. Oh, okay, no, he was the one from earlier, so I guess we don't have to worry about him. That said, if there could be any other hunters, I'd rather murk him now. So we can't go back in that room because there's nothing. Yeah, those are the only things. We got everything for Carlos. Yeah. Like, as far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty sure we'll always have enough to take out the uh, the last stand, the RE4 cabin. So, I'm not too worried about expending ammo to kill shit that Jill's going to have to deal with otherwise. Jill's the one we got to beat Final Nemesis with. So I'd rather waste Carlos's shit. Plus, worst comes to worst, when you get to that last holdout... You only need to fucking worry about the, um... Well, you only need to worry about stalling them. Yeah, here we go. Okay, that's one. Yep. The worst scenario would be one comes out through the door behind me. One comes through the door behind me, is what I meant to say in more plain speaking English. I am an English. Speak fucking English. I like the idea of a hunter watching me going, man, this, this guy's fucking paranoid. What a scrub. One of these guys will definitely be up later. Alright, cool. So we got this. We got a lot of fucking heals. I don't know if I've said that enough during this episode so far. Speaking of which, said episode's probably going to end after the shootout. Now, will the hunter show up first or after? It'd be funny if it showed up right now, but I fucking doubt it. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan changing waste of a nursing degree. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects beyond your comprehension. 
So stop wasting my time with your nosy questions. I... Uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. You didn't read the documents, did you? No, I shredded them just like you asked. Good. Good. If that's all, you can go back to wiping your patient's ass. That's what they pay you for, right? And polish my shoes. Yes, sir. I bet you know a lot about polishing, don't you? Now fuck off and don't say a word to anyone. Wow. What a douche. Well said, Carlos. Well said. Yeah, I don't think if we left the ammo, it would help Jill at all. Yeah, there's that herb, as always. Let's see, we are going to have enough, thankfully. Of room. We're, hey, D Dr. Bard, we're here. Oh. Bard. Damn it. <laughs> I want to see if we could see no, him. Bro. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's got to be a computer, right? Yeah, that, uh, that last little bit of that letter, mmm, little, uh, little unnerving. You're a brunette guy, right? Mmm. I, uh, I don't like what, uh, I don't like what the mayor's putting down. This is VRC Chief Nathaniel Bard. So I'm recording I'm this to Hello. get myself out of the shit. Because in retrospect, I did a dumb thing. It was bad, and I feel bad, so please save me now. Anyway, Carlos punches the computer really fucking hard. And here we are. And if there was a fucking pale head right there, that'd be awesome. That'd be shit as well, but it'd be fucking hilarious. The vaccine sample. Amazing. All right, Joe. Give the vaccine to Jill. Not before we punch a hunter in its bitch Chief, face. I got it. Let's see, how Good. much we got? I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. Yeah, it's funny because Tyrell gets hurt on the way. Yeah, hilarious. How many we got? Are you fucking ready? Yeah, I'm bumping it way too soon. That was it. That was it. The thing that killed me. Oh, that's it. That killed me too. Well, that kind of fucked things up, didn't it? Oh. Yeah, I know it should be playing the, uh, playing a different game with him. I should be attempting footsies. Ah, fuck it. Okay, yeah. There we go. Not enough. Gotcha. Expended a lot of fucking ammo, but who cares. Now, we do have that single green herb. But let's see if we have any fun before we, uh... Yeah, we go ahead and use it. What the hell? Oh, no, that isn't the door. Wait. Yeah, no, that isn't the door. So that's the lightning hawk, or was the lightning hawk rather. Interested to see what it is this time around. There's Licker Chan. Alright, here we go. Any last minute enemy out here? Now nah, that'd be kind of dumb, wouldn't it? Alright, you're gonna be fine, Jill. We got the vaccine.
Pyro. What the hell happened? Attention all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Attention all citizens. I mean, that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, let me sit tight. I got this. Radio. Gotta grab some. Defend Jill. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Thank you for this bountiful harvest. All right. Um, given the context of what's going on, I should probably be on the ready to just use that. Um, if it looks like I'm gonna get hit, I'm gonna use it. All right. So my mistake when I played this the first time was I grabbed the bomb. You don't do that till the end. Be interesting to know if Palehead show up during this. That'll make this way scarier, to be quite honest. It'll be interest. It'll also be interesting to know if I survive this. The f you know first time. This is this is actually harder though because I can't really hear too well due to my recording setup. So amazing job, me. We're just gonna go for body shots. It's way easier. Plus, they fall over pretty quickly in this. So it's that problem of they're all kind of milling around, but you don't know who's a threat until you know. Who's going for a lunge? Command grab. I'm I'm not using the generator as much as I should. I know, but. Oh, that's right. The fucking parasite dipshits are gonna show up. That'll be the real test. Yeah, I know. Sell down, Tyrell. I got it. Okay, there's a bit of a lull, which is making me a little nervous. Holy shit, how much do I. Okay, let's do this. It's not gonna help per se, but. Okay, you know what? Let's just take it now. I'm pretty certain he's dead. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I've just got to be mindful of anyone coming through that window. But this gives me a good vantage point. I know there's one coming up on my right. I'm not particularly worried. That said, the photocopier behind me gave me a bit of a scare for a sec. No need to shoulder check you, fuckboy. I don't mind this section too much, but yeah, it feels... A little out of place in terms of tone. It feels rather arcadey, doesn't it? Nothing inherently wrong with it, but you, you know, you do get a bit of a tonal whiplash with it. This means the hunter is going to show up in a moment. Oh, speaking of which, hey, shitlord. Now, if I remember correctly, there will be a nade in there. That was an accident, but it'll work in my favor, I'm sure. No, there is only a flash. Okay, we're going to do this. I wasted two flashbangs. If anything will kill me, it'll be that. I should probably take out the zombies instead of the hunter, but fuck it. This will at least give me a second to pretend the hunter's not on my ass. Yeah, got him. Uh huh. Now there is going to be one more hunter, so let's hope I can uh, take it out. Oh shit, yeah, this is all here, isn't it? Yeah, there's nothing. The break is with Oh, of course. Oh, fucking reason I came in. Got it. Well, you're going, mate. You've got it. Baby, she's got it. Man, killing all these zombies, I'm just thankful to be living in a world where we've got new Yu-Gi-Oh abridged. Truly, that would, that's what matters in life, right? Oh, fuck off. Now, fuck off. Polish my shoes. Oh, you're still alive. 
Captain, someone's still alive down there. And it's a fucking parasite. Bastard. Wow, they really, really have a hard on for giving the parasites. Okay, here we go. Where the fuck are you? I think the game tried to murder me just then and I somehow avoided it. That's it. Come on. Let me fucking heal. There we go. We have a lot of health, so I really don't mind healing. Just heal spamming my way through this. Um, what do we got? Single. Perfect. Gotcha. Oh, fuck. Bingo. That'll help. Ooh, this is getting bad. fuck was that? Have we got... Okay. Whoa, mate. Settle down, eh? Alright, here we go. Time to fucking whisk a knife play in a second. Well, not entirely. Bingo. Keep away time. I'm just gonna heal spam through this. The longer the focus on me, the easier this is. That'll buy me some time. Oh, ammo. Sick. Don't die now. Can't die now. Okay, they replenished some ammo. Sick. I did not heal. Oh, perfect. Ah, bullshit in my way through it. I'm happy with that. I'll, I'll take that. Very controlled de demolition, I know. But... Carlos! Ooh. You all right? Not even close. But at least it's over. Ah, <sighs> beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Now Carlos is going to run off and find some vaccine in the, in the nest lab, or at least going to try. Tyrell's going to sit here, try to contact someone, and Jill's going to wake up. Wait a minute. A first person cutscene in the RE engine? This could mean only one fucking thing. I've got good news. It's over now. The city's safe. It means it's a fake out and it's actually a nightmare. Oh no! I tried. You could hear me. I fucking tried. Not because I hate Carlos, just because, well, you know. Alright, there is an item box. There is something in here we have not acquired, though. Now, I'm thinking we might as well clear the hospital. Ah, yes, the new handgun. Sugoi. 
Okay, mine rats can get out of here. We we can get rid of that. We have a lot of shoddy. Okay, I don't actually know how this new handgun compares, but you know, you know me at this point. I prefer the control burst. Well, just a con you know controlled steady shots from a normal handgun that can aim. Okay, you go here so I remember to use you first. Alright, so yeah, here here we go. We have seven heals on Jill. We have a fuck ton of green herbs. We have the double lock pick. We are going to need one. So this can actually go back here. This can go there. Don't need any of the coins because those are for cowards. And I'm not a coward yet. Maybe one day. Get the knife. Tyrell's here. Carlos is right. after the vaccine. I'm not talking you out of this. Crazy, am I right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's not here. I do wonder if you left the stuff here, if you can grab it as Jill, but I get the idea. No. Oh, that's right. There's nothing actually here. It's but it's in the double doors. Can we talk to you anymore, Tyrell? No? Nope? Okay. VAs only get paid so much, I can't blame you. Okay, now there's a hunter on the way back, so I'm interested to... You got me. You fucking got me good. So I'm interested to see what's on the way. Hmm. Well, we're going to do this first. We'll walk ahead. We'll break that box just to see what's in here. It'll be interesting to see if there's a zombie in here. I highly doubt it, but... Shoddy just in case. And gun, perfect. Domo arigato. Actually, we will go forward because I think there is some shit. That is not what I wanted. I wanted to go to shotgun. I'm an idiot. I fucked that up royally. That is my royal guard stance. Royal idiot. Yeah? Well, this is a good test subject. There we go. Well, he's gone at least. That's the kind of thing I was anticipating, to be honest. So let's see if there's any more around here. Oh, Just got to be careful fighting hunters. Yeah, here we go. So we can actually make the acid rounds now. So we can try them on a hunter and watch it scream. Yep, that's all. Perfect. No enemies too. Awesome. I wish I hadn't got hit by the pale head, but ah, uh, fuck it. It'd be arguably it'd be better if I had it just like come here last dodge rolled past it, but I wanted to see. I needed to know. That fucking shadow, man. <laughs> that fucking shadow. Spooked me good. Right, what's ahead? There is a simple lock. So we'll go do that. Yeah, that was my fault from swapping. I should have, met you know, not metaphorically, literally stuck to my shotgun. Stick to your guns. Except, you know, in a reasonable way. It's a fucking gun. You know. It's, uh, it's caused some problems. Okay, yeah, so I was I misspoke. Of course, it was a simple lock, because this all counts as the corridor. Courtyard is separate. Yeah, so Hunter Chan would be here if we hadn't murked him. But we did. Now, is there... Yes, there is shit in Nathaniel Bard's office. What is in Nathaniel Bard's office? Explosive B. What's good, B? This looks like Nikolai's work. In fact, yes, it is. Little did Jill know she was correct. It'd be needed in a future RE game if you could um, load different grenade rounds in an order. So you could have acid into fire into explosive. That is what I was expecting. Alright, fuck boy. 
Yeah? Hurt did it. How about some more? Now fuck off. And polish my shoes. So I don't know if the acid kills them outright and that was a colossal waste. But, you know. That solved that problem. So let's see. We, um... Let's see. Yeah, so we have the sick room to go to because there's something now. Treatment room, linen room, staff room, courtyard. So we have to go to the second floor for this. I'm going to swap to the shoddy on the off chance there is something not hunter related. If there is a hunter, I'll have to dodge it. And then swap to grenade launcher and fucking kill it. That said, if we're approaching this corridor, it's going to be a hunter. Come on, ambush me out here, damn it. I know you want a game. Okay. Okay, nothing. That is an excellent sign. Um. Well, Magnum Ammo can go away. We're saving that for the very end. Um, flame rounds I don't really need. <sighs> Maybe they'd be good on the pale heads. I will take a single one if there's a pale head. Oh, actually, no, fuck it. I need the room. Okay, so let's see. Let's plan this out. Um, there's going to be hunters. And only hunters. Other than those zombies that will no doubt wake up. We're going to save over that. God forbid this recording fucks up. And I have to effectively start again. Because I saved over the start of the RPD. Yeah, so I'm treating it like, other than these zombies, there's only going to be hunters. I fucking saw something. At least, I think I did. I obviously didn't. How quaint. A zombie. Huh. Yeah, but did you know that hunters are fucking rad? Did you know? Because they are. Scientifically proven to be fucking awesome. I'm pretty sure that was the other zombie moving. In fact, you know what? I was dead right. What a surprise. Fuck, I was getting ready to dodge roll and I am dead as a consequence. Wow. My aim's going to shit. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, you, on the other hand. Bingo. Where did everyone go? Bingo? Laugh track plays with Seinfeld bass. Bingo, 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 bingo. What was it? Um, yeah, that's right. Because I was re-watching Matt and Liam's um, RE, RE3 playthrough. I remember Matt saying there's this whole thing where when everyone go bingo isn't a thing in the Japanese translation, isn't the Japanese version. Huh. Where'd you go, buddy? Okay, he got up. That's what happened. Um, so... You know, you'd kind of hope, given RE4 is allegedly happening, that they keep it in the English dub. Too iconic. What? I don't even fucking remember what he says in the Jap version, but I'm not that fussed. Okay, so treatment, sick, and linen. Got it. I'd rather go this way, to be honest. Let's do this first. Something is going to be up. <laughs> yeah, jeez, wonder what's going to happen there, eh? You've seen it. Be fucking got up and I shat myself. You've seen that shit. Alright, now I can't remember if anything will respawn in the hunter room. I'm... Yeah, I'm not a religious man. Far from it, in fact. But I'm hoping nothing's there. Let's let's look. 
Let's, sorry. Let's watch. Right, no, two dead hunters. And a dead palehead. Yeah, so it's the ones from the lab that have their insane durability. I'm expecting a zombie to be in here now. There is not, though, because it would have triggered. Right. Radical. Okay, we're almost done here. Almost out of here. And lockpick Chan. It's been a bash. Sure has been a roundabout journey. The woods will make you out and out. Okay, that's it. That's it. It's a beautiful day, kids. Now, if there was a hunter that ambushed me here now, I'm just gonna fucking dodge roll it. Yeah, I'm. I, think I, can squeeze by. I can't remember, but I'm positive when I played this the first time. And hell, it's recorded. I could go fucking watch the OG files. I could go check that shit. That I was confused as fuck and didn't find that for a while. I think that was before I, you know, I started editing properly. It was my second LP. What's he gonna do? I mean, there was a lot of that shit in Bloodborne, so... Oh, it's just mag ammo? Uh, I mean... Wait, why am I disappointed? Why am I upset I got mag... Fucking mag ammo? Why is this a crisis? Oh man, I should be fucking... Ec ecstatic. Alright, so that one hunter's gonna shop, so we're gonna see if we can fucking dodge roll him. If he doesn't, I will be shocked. Because I don't think you can follow me, famous last words. That said... Bewilders me, you know, just... Boggles the mind as to how we got past Tyrell. And Tyrell's sitting there like, Hey, what's up, Jill? You crazy? Don't do that. Carlos has got this. Okay, what the fuck? Where's the hunter? Yo, Tyrell, you seen a hunter around here? Chickened out, apparently. Oh, well, let's go ahead and we'll get to that safe house. Because... I, I, I get the sense that the hunter is a bit of a... What is it? Jill can sense the bitch in his heart. Yeah, that's what I'm stealing from Wooly. Yeah, now fuck off. I'll have to remember when I play this on Inferno. In my own time. <laughs> Not on the channel, most likely. Um, to just dodge roll that fucker. Actually, I don't know if Inferno adds anyone new, so that'd be interesting to know. I was certain the first time we'd have like a fucking elevator sequence here. Didn't expect a nemesis fight per se, but I expected something. In fact, it'd be weird if there was nothing here now. In fact, it'd be weirder if there was nothing here no now. And there is nothing. There's an item. But there's no combat. I mean, I guess that's because of a room coming up ahead, but still. You're the herb I missed. That's all I need. And the cat has woken up, thus being a perfect time to end this. Man, I'm probably going to have to cut part two into two parts, to be quite honest. But, you know. I am wondering if, I, if I'm going to have... Part 1, 2, uh, 1 and 2 being, you know, first part in this, 3 being most of Nest, and then 4 being just Final Metamorphosis. Because I'm bloody considering it. How to use the elevator for idiots. Alright, remember, I have that. That's not for you, the viewer, that's for me. Remember, Nick, you fucking have it. Use it. Okay, um, let's just do some inventory management before we finish up here. I could make more acid, fingers crossed, so I'm going to hold on to that. I have no other gunpowder, I'm sure we get some in there. Some item slots will be handy, four heals is pretty fucking excessive. Um, that said, flame rounds are going to be handy because of one particular enemy who I'm sure they won't have gotten rid of. Mine rounds we save the nemesis fight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you know what I'll do? 
know what I'll do? I'll do this. So I have three individual herbs and I have one combined one. Okay. Because there's going to be at least one or two red herbs coming up that, you know, should have used those in the early game. Ah, oh, fuck it. For my own sake. Alright, well, perfect time to see uh, to say see you later on whatever the fuck. Whatever YouTuber shit, I don't know. I'm gonna have an internal debate whether or not to use the mag. How much have I got? Eight. That's a lot of mag, if it's 23. That'll fuck those pale heads up real nice. Radio. Well, hope I didn't fuck this up. I hope this all goes well. Um, we're gonna save over this one. Righty up. Catch you later. All that shit. Um, whatever. Yeah. I promise the next LP. <laughs> the next LP is not gonna be Resident Evil. It's gonna be fucking devastation, alright? Probably. Bye.